We break down the tech that drives the games we love here with Game Tech, and this time we're going to shed a little light on some lighting techniques. So how can you make the bright lights in a game pop out more and make low lit areas look more lifelike? There's Bloom and HDR rendering, and we'll also get into the recent surge of HDR displays. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel here at GameSpot. Bloom increases the luminosity of light sources and objects that reflect light in a game world. The intention is to make the scene look more realistic, closer to what we'd see in the real world. Light will seep through windows and suns will shine brighter. The whitest parts are intensified, almost creating a sort of aura around these surfaces. However, there are plenty of bad examples of Bloom. There could very well be an unnatural oversaturation of light or objects glowing in an off-putting way. It'll be recognizable when surfaces are reflective or shining when they really shouldn't be. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is one of the many games that offers a Bloom option, and it's implemented extremely well. Looking directly at the sun with Bloom off is like looking at a white ball. With Bloom on, it looks as if it's realistically emitting light that appropriately cascades across the environment. While the quality of Bloom will vary from game to game, we would suggest turning it on if you think it provides a richer, more believable visual experience. If it's distracting and oversaturates the game world, you may want to go without it. High Dynamic Range, or HDR, is a little different, and it can be divided into two different entities. First, HDR can be an effect in a graphics engine that creates a wider range in contrast, so darkened areas are darker and brighter areas are brightened. This heightened contrast affects the visuals when you're in a dark room and step outside to a brighter environment. When this occurs in real time, it simulates the ever-changing exposure of light we experience in real life, and simulates the time it takes for the human eye to adjust. The tech demo Half-Life 2 Lost Coast was the most prominent early examples of HDR rendering in games. Valve essentially showed off what the Source engine was capable of back in the day. HDR as a display technology is a little different. When cameras are shooting in HDR, they're typically taking multiple exposures to highlight the dark and light information in a scene. From there, processing is used to combine these exposures into one picture for an image that's more representative of how we perceive light and color. HDR on TVs tries to represent colors in a more realistic way, but instead of using image processing to combine exposures together, it simply uses a panel that offers a much wider color gamut compared to standard RGB TVs. But why should you care about HDR? In terms of image quality, HDR increases the contrast between bright pixels and dark pixels over what traditional displays offer. This means the overall image will look less gray or washed out. Colors will look much more lush and vibrant. For instance, on-screen fire effects will look warmer and images will, in general, have a little more pop and it's real noticeable when you experience the difference in a game. While many HDR displays feature a 4K resolution, not all 4K displays will support HDR. Having said that, HDR pairs very well with 4K since it makes good use of the greater pixel density to create that richer, more dynamic image. Aside from an HDR display, you'll need an HDR-capable device and HDR content, which developers need to implement. Microsoft's Xbox One S and Xbox One X supports HDR, and Sony included HDR support for the PS4 Pro and provided an HDR update for existing PS4s. This was the fifth in a series of PC graphics settings explainers, so do yourself a favor and check out the other videos if you haven't already. Now keep those comments coming in, because we're reading them. And if you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, you know the deal. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching.